everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my goth closet tour and this is the updated version of me here in my new actual house where I'm living currently. So this is a update, actually you might recognize some pieces from my previous video. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna go over my part of my closet where I keep all my goth clothes. And I also have a normal regular closet that I have in my bedroom, which is over there. So I hope everything's gonna be in focus for you to see. As you can see, I have a lot of black in my closet and I actually do have a particular order of putting things. So on that side, so to the back of the closet we're gonna start and I'm actually gonna try and pull everything to one side so you can see. So on this side where we start I have some stupid scarves, so a skull scarf, a purple scarf and then a lip service scarf with biometric details. It's a really cool scarf but I barely ever wear it but if I need another scarf to wear they are here I most of the time wear a simple black scarf. Next to that we start with dresses and I've actually organized my dresses from long to shorter and also um, they are matched by sleeves. So this is actually a really long black maxi dress. Next to it we have my sinister dress that I wore into my vampire video. So it's a really long, roughly pretty dress. It has a lot of really nice details and I actually have a hoop skirt at the other side of the closet. Um, that I match with this to wear it. We have a lot of lip service dresses. As some of you already know, I am pretty obsessed with the brand lip service and I have a lot of their stuff. So the first dress over here is actually the Das Bunker dress. So it's a really nice military dress with chains and with these gunmetal type details. The next one is a dress that I traded with the amazing Amy Necritique. I believe this is from the Alien Skin Collection. It is a really nice bodycon, really form-fitting dress. Next to that one, we have a newer dress that I just got off of eBay. Um, yeah, it's a really nice fake leather um, matte accent dress, so it's not shiny. And my staple dress, this is the lip service gangsta prankster dress with the buckle details. I'm not gonna pull out every single dress because they're quite heavy. Um, this one is the return to the Thunderdome dress. And this is actually my full set of the Millennium Moon collection. So I have the dress, the leg warmers, the belt and the actual jacket that goes with it. And further down my closet, I also have the top that goes with this. We have my Cemetery Prince dress that I got off of Bella Murti clothing. The next one is actually the only thing I do not fit into anymore. This is my purple dress and it is a really nice military dress, but my boyfriend bought it for me uh, when we just started dating, so unfortunately I don't fit into it anymore. The next dresses here are all by Hellbunny or Spin Doctor clothing because they're actually the same brand. So this is the Ouija board dress, then we have the uh, movie dress with Frankenstein's head and RIP and stuff like that on it. It's a really nice dress, this one actually has a halter neck. Then we have my eyeball dress which I personally really love. And then the only black and white dress I have is this one. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's the Toto dress. It is a really nice neckline and I'm sure you've seen me wearing it in some of my videos. A Ouija board dress by Jawbreaker. I bought this second hand and I've only worn it once I think. Next to that one we have my all-time favorite Sorpas dress. This is actually a really nice dress. It's really plain skater dress with long sleeves and then you have this um, graveyard at the bottom. Next to that we have this creeps filled dress. So it's the plain black and white one. Um, it is really nice but I think the neck is really deep so you really have to match it with your outfit. Next to that we have this star dress that I got at Forever 21 a few years ago. And then the final dress is this one. It is by Gotikana by um, Large, so EMP or whatever you call it where you live. It's a online catalog 
Um, that sells mostly band merch, but they recently started selling also goth clothing. And yeah, I think I will insert pictures of the things that aren't too clear because this is just a black piece of fabric. Then we come to the top section of my closet and it also starts with uh, things with no sleeves. So this is actually a lip service underbust top in pinstripes. Then we have a lip service underbust top that is kind of vinyl looking. We have my punk rave underbust corset. Well, it's not really a corset, it's more like a underbust top. And then my currently only corset that I still have, it is this pleather corset. Um, I'm not sure of the brand because there wasn't really a brand in it anymore, but it is a size 26 inch. We have the short sleeve tops. This first one is by Lip Service. It has a graveyard on it and this is just a plain top that I sometimes match with my clothes. The next top is this really gorgeous one by Lip Service. It looks absolutely amazing on. Another lip service top. This unfortunately is a tiny bit on the small side, but I still love it. If I could get it in a size bigger, that would be amazing. Then this is part of the Millennium Moon collection. This is the um, top that also has these slits into it. Next, what do we have here? This is from another lip service collection. This one has skulls in black, gray and in red. Then we have another lip service top. This is from the Autopsy collection and it has a ribcage on it and it has some really nice lace up details. Then we have the Das Bunker shirts um, from the same collection as the top you saw previously, the long sleeve version. I also have some of their lip service military shirts. So this one is inspired I think by the Russian army, if I'm not mistaken. Then another long sleeve top by Lip Service. This is one of my absolute favorites. I was so lucky to find this. Um, it is truly gorgeous. From the Astro Vamps collection, the long sleeve shirt in black. This is my restyle top that I got from Attitude Holland with the butterfly details on it. Um, then we have my studded pleather um, jacket. Well, it's not a jacket jacket, it's just a overthrow jacket. Um, what do I have here? This is my Red Queen's Black Legion top. This is what I wear when I do Victorian inspired outfits. And then one of my favorite pieces, this is a long sleeve top by Future State. It has a lot of reflective details that um, are on the colors and it also has thumb holes which is really nice and it is super long sleeved. Then we have all of my fishnet and hole shirts. So this one is actually uh, from a charity shop. It looks a bit like a poncho and it has a lot of bigger holes into it. Then a plain simple net shirt. I bought this one off of eBay. Then we have one of my favorite pieces. This one is actually from Primark and it is kind of this um, really nice lace looking poncho, I think. Then we have this top, which actually comes from H&M. I'm not sure when they release it, but I bought it on sale. It is a hard rib gauge top. And then the last crop top I own is actually this one. It has really big studs on the sleeves. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then we're through with the tops. Next to the tops, I have my jackets. So this one is again by Lip Service. This is from the same collection as the top I own with the ones and the zeros on the sleeves. This is super nice. It then we have the Autopsy Collection vest and this one actually has slits at the elbows, so openings at the elbows. It has again the really nice details and the lace up stuff. It also has these openings in the back, which I personally really love, but you have to be careful what you wear underneath it. Then one of my favorite jackets is this one by Lip Service. It has a ribcage detail on the front. I think this is a moto jacket or meant to be a motor jacket, but it's not as thick as I thought it would be. It also, again, has really nice lace up details in the back. Next one is this Gangsta Prankster jacket. This is absolutely gorgeous. I also have it in the black pinstripe version, but I never wore it. So I only wear this plain black one. So the other one is currently for sale. If you're interested, you can find that on my Facebook page. Next, we have this bat cardigan by Bent Apparel. It has bats here on the top of the cardigan and also a bat detail on the sleeves. The back is just plain black. 
The next jacket is the one that I customized myself. This was the first blazer I actually customized and currently it is a bit too small. It has a bunch of studs, it has bats and the back is actually why I love it so much. This is from Resident Evil. So yeah, Resident Evil, as some of you know, are my favorite movies. Then we have this glow in the dark sweater, which is by Queen of Darkness. It actually has glow in the dark um, skeleton print on the front on the back and also on the hood, which makes this um, really cool skeleton look. I bought this on a festival and it was really cheap and I was cold, um, but I'm really happy I got this because it's one of my warmest jackets. And then the final jacket is this one by Divided Collection from H&M. It has this kind of destroyed feel to the edges. It's a really nice overthrow jacket if you're wearing a dress. I wear this all the time in summer, winter, mid-seasons. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite items. Then we have my skirts and I actually have them from the shortest to the longest. So it starts with these mini skirts from the Gangsta Prangsta collection of lip service. I have a red one with black pinstripe and a black one with the reflective pinstripe. Then I have a extremely short skirt. I think this is from the bio trend, but it is super short, so you have to bear that in mind when buying it. Then we have the Thunderdome skirt, which is absolutely gorgeous. Skirt, this one has that kind of destroyed feel as the top I previously shown you. The only reason I cannot wear them together yet is because there is a huge gap between them because I am so tall, but I am considering getting a corset to wear with this. Next skirt is this one, also by Lip Service. I am not sure of the collection. Then I have this pleated skirt by Trip. It is one of the first skirts that I ever bought on a festival. It has these really cool details, but I don't wear it as much anymore. It's still a really cool skirt. Then another pleated skirt, and this one I do wear often. It has this buckles detail on top. I believe this is by Band Clothing, and I bought it from Attitude Holland at a festival. The only frilly lacy skirt I own. I am not sure where I bought this one, but it's really nice. It has multiple layers. Then a longer skirt, this goes up to almost my knees. This one is again by Lip Service from the Autopsy collection. I have two skirts by Spin Doctor. This one is the red tartan skirt with lace up detail. It has like a square cut to it, so it has uneven sides that fall down into peaks, which is super awesome. And then the other one is a bit more Victorian looking. It is this skirt and it's absolutely gorgeous when you wear it. I am not sure of the name of this skirt, but it's one of my favorites. And then here at the end are some skirts that I'm not gonna pull out. This first one is just a sheer skirt that I put over dresses or over other skirts. Then we have a plain black witchy skirt, which I barely ever wear, but just keep in case I need it. And then another sheer skirt, but this one has a under skirt, which I love wearing in summer. And the final thing that is in here is my hoop skirt. So those are all the clothes that I have hanging on my rack. At the top of my closet, I have my sewing kit, which is over there. The yellow bag is sewing supplies and pieces of fabric. Here are all the things that I'm currently selling. They are folded and put together. So if you're interested in buying some goth clothes, you can always have a look. Then on this side, I have my curl farmers and my black pom-poms that I keep in there. So the bottom of my closet isn't really filled all that much. It has two pairs of demonias and my pair of new rock reactors. And behind that is actually some of my filming gear. And that's actually everything I have in my god closet.